Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're gonna mount a rooftop tent. We've got the Takui Ruggedized Atana 3 from Thule. For this installation, Thule includes three wrenches, a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, a 10 millimeter and eight millimeter double-ended wrench, and a small 10 millimeter wrench. To make things a little bit easier, I'm also gonna use a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Let's go ahead and get started. We pull the tent out of the box, we undo the straps so we can prop it open and get inside the door of the tent. What they do is they store some things inside the tent for transit. We needed to pull out a bag of hardware. We've also got our ladder and then also the tent cover. Next, we set the tent on top of this table. We've got it oriented to where these four holes are facing up. Uh, next in our kit, we're gonna take some of these bars. These are going to be mounting to the bottom of the tent and this is what we're gonna mount to our load bars. Now these have to be mounted perpendicular to the load bars. So if the load bars are going like this, we're gonna mount them this way. If the load bars are going side to side like here, then we need to mount them this way. If we are going in this orientation, we also need to mark the bars and then cut them down to where they fit just underneath the tent. So next what we're gonna do, set these bars in place, get them lined up to the holes, get some hardware and fasten them together. All right, now the hardware we're gonna to use to fasten these two together, it's gonna to be a, a bolt with a washer and a nylock nut. First thing we're gonna do is take our nylock nut and fit it into this track. Now the nylock portion needs to be towards the top. You fit two of those nuts in there, one for each hole, and then get them lined up to where the holes are gonna be. Next, we need to get this underneath the floor of the tent. In order to do that, we need to unzip the tent, run this zipper all the way around. Then we can take, pull this up, and find the hole and push the bolt up through it. Now the track is gonna capture the nylock nut so that it can't spin inside that track. In your kit, you're gonna have a 10 millimeter open head wrench that they give you so you can reach from underneath the bottom and tighten up the bolt from the bottom. But to make it a little bit easier, I've got a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. I'm gonna use that instead. Now we're going to install the other bar the exact same way. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and zip it back down, reattach our straps, and then flip it over on the other side. All right, let's bring it back to center. And there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach our ladder. Now, we're gonna find these four holes on our tent. They're covered up with tape. We can go ahead and remove those. Um, and then make sure the ladder is oriented to where these brackets are facing towards uh, these marks. Also make sure that the angle is angled down at the top, not at the bottom. Next, we're gonna find our ladder bracket. That's gonna line up to these holes. I'm gonna do this one and the other one installs exactly the same way. So let's peel the tape off. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and line our bracket up to these holes. Now, before we can run our bolts up through the bottom, we need to be able to get access down here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull our zipper open. That way we can get access. And we've also got a little tube that's in here. We're gonna pull that loose. Now we can take and feed our bolts up through the bottom. On top of each one of the bolts, we're gonna do a flat washer and a nylock nut. Let's go ahead and get those started for right now. Again, we got a bolt with a washer on it. Goes up through the bottom. Washer and nylock. 
Uh, we're not going to tighten everything down just yet. We want to have the ladder attached before we tighten everything down. All right, now we're going to take our short bolt with washer, go ahead and feed it through the side of the bracket, bring the ladder up to it, install our other spacer washer, attach our ladder and our nylock nut. Again, we're not tightening this down just yet either. This is all in place and loose. We're going to set up the other side the exact same way. All right, now that we've got everything lined up, we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. All right, now we need to go ahead and test the ladder, make sure there's no kind of bind. Unclip this strap, run it around the ladder, that way we can capture the ladder. All right, so here's the cover for our Tapui tent. You'll notice that on one edge, we've got a uh, stiff, rigid bead that's stitched into it. Uh, on all other three sides, we're gonna have kind of an industrial grade zipper that's stitched into the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up like it's going to sit on top of the tent, bring it down to the side, and line this bead up to this channel, this extrusion on the bottom of this rail, and just fit it in. Now it's easiest to fit it in if you're guiding it on this side and keeping the uh, leading edge straight. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and flip this over onto the tent. You have some Velcro straps that you can pull loose on the corners to get a little bit more out of it. All right, now we can go ahead and zip the cover to the bottom of the tent. Now that we have everything fastened on the bottom of the tent, we're gonna go ahead and reattach our straps, and then get another set of hands and help lift this thing up onto our truck. All right, this is definitely a team lift, guys, so go ahead and get it in place and get it nice and centered. Okay, I've already got this propped up and prepped so you guys can see exactly what's going on here. In your kit, you're gonna have some aluminum inserts that's got a bolt hanging out of it. What we're gonna do is insert those into our mounting rail. Now, I've already got three of them in. What we're gonna do is we're going to line them up uh, to where they go over either side of each platform that we're gonna be mounting to. So I've got two hanging down over top of this one and two hanging down over top of this one. Next, what we're gonna do is insert our end caps on each side and we'll repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. And now you can go ahead and lower it down. All right, now for each one of our mounting locations, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those bolts and slide them all the way to that uh, truss. Next, what we're gonna do is find our bracket out of our kit and line them up to the bolts hanging out. We're gonna take our nylock nuts and get them started. Also in your kit, you'll get a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. What you can do is use that to tighten down these nylock nuts. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna bring this nylock nut all the way up to the bracket uh, and not tighten it down all the way just yet. And then I'll bring the other nylock nut up to the bracket, then I can tighten them down together. Now 
Next, repeat the same process for the other three mounting locations. Well, just like that, it's mounted. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.